Let me show you a completely different method of, um, of building a page carton theme. Uh, before now, you've had to upload your theme here and then edit your theme by clicking on edit theme from here. But we are creating a, a way for you to completely compose your theme from your code edit editor like this. So you don't have to go you, do, you don't have to do much on the admin panel of the page carton. You just come under your code editor, whether it's VS Code or Atom or whatever you like and update. So how do you do this, right? You go ahead and upload your theme any way the way you have been uploading before. Um, the, I'm uploading this, the interior theme, which is my HTML, bro HTML files and uh once the upload is done is this is always better off on the local host or any other kind of server that would be able to have access to the um to 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 the file manager so i can edit my html files directly so when you upload a theme into page carton like this Though you can see everything from here, when you click on edit theme, you'll be able to see all the pages and then be edit the main theme layouts and stuff. But this method before update from here right but now that is no longer required now what you are going to be doing you're going to be able to go into the main HTML code like this one and then perform all the editing that you want from here uh, that means for the uh, main theme page you can do your editing from here and then for the individual pages like if you want to edit the home page Instead of clicking here to edit the the home page, to edit the home page like this, where you're going to be clicking this, you can you can actually come here and click on the page HTML code and edit directly the HTML code from here. Isn't that interesting? So how? Can you do this right <clears throat> if I were you though because this um, this method is meant for people who are already comfortable using their IDE so some people they already love using their VS code they don't want to go use any other user interface to create um, to write HTML or stuff so we so we created a way for you to be able to edit your theme directly from your code editor like this so how now I've uploaded my theme to um, page carton how do I see the raw codes how do I see the raw codes instead of uh, from here so I can go directly to my theme name is the interior so I'm gonna go into my um, file manager because I'm on localhost so I'll look for where uh, my this thing is stored so let me click file open and um, so I'm working on X exit an application so um, theme files are, are always saved on the applications and on that document then on the layout then you see all the things that you have on your on your site so this is the one I just created, PC layout, the inferior. Okay, so I'll click on this, then I'll see all the files that I have in my um, in my theme. So I can open this in my um, favorite code editor, and I'll begin to work from here. So I can see um, my about blog index which is like a very important site the index page the codes pure html code here and um, now <clears throat> let me take you through some of these um there are special files that is that when once you import your theme into page carton 
page carton is going to create some special files for you now this is the main template file you are not to touch this file at all because it's automatically generated you don't go here you don't anything you update here you may um, you may update this one but then it will automatically be overwritten whenever another a, a process happens okay complete html and that is what you're supposed to if you want to edit anything this is where you're supposed to edit it talking about the template file your template file is actually what what this this template raw is equivalent to what you see in this main html code it's equivalent so this this is what is pulled out inside here inside this um raw so editing this file is equivalent to editing this main layout is equivalent to editing this if you edit this file you are actually it's like you're editing this one okay now one caveat for you to know is that once you begin to edit your files from here you are not supposed to come and edit anything here anymore like you don't use the visual editor and this at the same time so you have to decide which one you want to use if you want to use the visual editor you click here and use it if you want to edit directly from the um from the code editor you just come here and do the magic so what do i do now right um for instance right now let me first um preview this and you will see Um, let me preview this the, the theme first. So previewing the theme So um, first let me say that you can every single um, one of the uh, of the things that you've been doing before you can do directly from you can do the same things directly inside your um, your code so that means if I want to change the logo right I just look for the part of the code where the logo is so I look for under this template raw this is where you have the main theme right so that's where I change the logo and the navigation and stuff and the footer basically in your template raw you want to deal with the header section and then the footer section the header section is where you have all your logos, where you have your navigation. This is the navigation where you have then the footer. Every other content is ignored. Actually, the rule of the thumb is this, that this template, template file, this template raw is supposed to hold anything in your, on your site that appears on all of the pages. Like, you know, the menu, um, the header section usually appears on the on the header section and all uh, on, on all the pages. And then the footer always appear on all, all the pages. So that is the section that you are to edit from this template raw. So um, if now look, this is the um, this is the updates like the, the preview and so what i want to do is so what happens is that as i head it here the system will automatically generate the page for me so i can edit anything i want let's say i want to change the um the logo here the logo for page carton would be img for slash um, logo.png then I put up a style here of a max height of let's say 60 pixels right the alt I can make it organization name okay so once I'm done let me come back and preview it should have updated updated my logo for me let's find out if that is the case
All right, so um, when running this, especially when you're doing a local host, it can take a bit time, a bit of some time to work, but because you know it's automatically generating all those pages. But um, if you have a very fast system, it sh that shouldn't be an issue. Now you see, logo change successfully. So the same thing will go for if I want to change the menu. If I want to change the menu here, like uh, I want to update this, I want to add a menu to this. Um, now it brings, um, so I can completely update my stuff here. Um, okay, so uh, this is basically how you update. You can do use your static test in here. You can um, use your. So if I want to change in the footer section, I want to change this logo as well. I want to put up the address and everything. I can change it from here. Okay, so that is basically how you update.